Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Color Splasher plugin for Revit. The Color Splasher is a tool by BIM1, which lets you graphically visualize and verify information in a Revit model. It filters, selects, and then colors elements based on the values of a parameter that you define. You can then visualize if there are any errors in the model or there's any lack of information. As a user, you first select a category, then a parameter, and finally you select a color for each value of this parameter. Let's see how it works. The Color Splasher plugin is available on the Autodesk App Store. I'll link it in the description below. It's free to download and it's extremely simple to install. Once you've installed this plugin, head over to your Revit project and go to the BIM1 tab. You'll find the Color Splasher plugin right there. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to color all the roofs in your project based on the area. So under category, I'm going to select roofs and under parameters, I'll select area. On the right hand side, under values, you'll see all the different roof areas currently in your project. They're all different colors right now, so I'm going to change it to a rainbow or gradient color scheme. I'm not too happy with this, so I'm going to keep hitting refresh until I find a color scheme I like. I'm satisfied with this green to blue color scheme. So I'm going to hit apply color set and immediately you can see the colors were applied to your 3D view. Now the smallest roof area with 2850 square feet is a light green and the largest roof area of 96,148 square feet is a bright blue. All the other roofs with areas in between those two values follow that gradient color scheme. So this allows you to very easily analyze all the different sized roofs in your project visually. The next thing I'm going to do is analyze all these mechanical ducts in the project. Under filters, I'm going to select ducts and under parameters, I'll select size. You can see under values, all the different sized ducts are listed in this color splasher plugin. Now I'm not too happy with this gradient color scheme. So I'm going to go to the last value, which is the largest size duct. I'll right click on that and select a custom dark blue color. I'll go to the smallest value and select a custom light blue color. And when I hit rainbow, a custom gradient color scheme was generated. Once I apply the color set, I can very easily analyze all the different sized ducts in the project. The larger ones are a dark blue and the smaller ones have a light blue color. In this third example, I'm going to show you how to color all the different ducts based on system type. You can see there are four different types of ducts in this project. Exhaust air, outside air, return air and supply air. Now I don't want to use a rainbow color scheme. I want them to be distinct colors so I can easily distinguish them. And so you can see once you apply the color set, you can very easily analyze all the four systems in your project. And finally, I'm going to show you how to apply color scheme to all the walls in your project. So in the category, I'm going to select walls and under parameter, I'm going to select family and type. Now this color scheme isn't the best, but at least it'll help me see all the different wall types. Now all the interior walls are colored light brown or dark brown and all the exterior walls are a bright green. By now you can see this tool is really great for visual analysis to catch any missing information or any incorrect information. This plugin has many benefits. You can quickly review any potential problems. You can easily monitor the quality of your model. It's easier than creating view filters and you can also override multiple categories at once. As I said before, it's a free plugin. So go check it out and see if you find it useful. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.